heart beats sight. Let me show you how it works. First, we'll take it apart. This is the marble pump. I got the plans from a guy named Jim on the internet. He was nice enough to post the CAD files, so I downloaded them. Then I realized I don't have a CAD machine. So I printed out the files, pasted them to some wood, and got a saw. It's pretty simple, really. There's just one moving part, the central impeller. It took me a little while to refine the shape, but I got it working pretty well. It's a brilliant design, basically made of five slices. I held mine together with pegs and used a plexiglass top so you could see the action. Let's put it back together. Here's the elevator shaft. It takes the marbles from the pump up to the top rail. This part gives them a little nudge in that direction. After rolling across the top rail, the flow of the marbles is controlled by this gate device since the transfer arm can only carry one marble at a time. You can see how I designed it to open when the arm is up, allowing just one marble to pass. After they're released, the marbles fall off the end and bounce into what I call the deflector peg. They actually make two bounces off these very precisely angled pegs, which deflect them into the waiting cradle. It happens fast, but you can hear a double click sound as well. The cradle receives the incoming marble and carries it down. Check out the counterweight. It's actually a bismuth crystal I grew myself. Long story but its weight is critical to balance the load at the other end. Here's a part I call the ejector. It knocks the ball out of the cradle when it comes down to the bottom. The pegs sticking up catch the occasional bounce. And let's put it back together. Like and subscribe.